Greetings, Preacher, Preacher Rick with you one more time with the Word of God here live at 5. We're so thankful to share the Word of God each day and to have a signal and to be uh, sharing another message today titled Good for Nothing. Well, that could be uh, used a lot of different ways, sometimes in a derogatory manner where it tears somebody down, but that's not the way it's being used by the Lord Jesus. It is teaching us a great lesson. Uh, and it's something that's very important in all of our lives. Uh, so we're going to read to you first in the 13th verse of uh, Matthew chapter 5 during the Sermon on the Mount. It says, Ye are the salt of the earth. And I'd like to expound just a little bit before we read any farther. The salt of the earth. He, he's called his Christians the salt of the earth. Now we all know uh, that back in the days before refrigeration, and still today, but especially back then, uh, which wasn't that long ago, meat was cured with salt to preserve it. Uh, salt is a preservative. It not only adds flavor, which is important in all of our, a lot of our lives, but but it is a preservative. Salt treated wood even has been uh, a type of treated wood because it preserves. If you go back to the book of Genesis, you see Joseph uh uh, being the salt of the earth, where he believed and knew that God sent him ahead, even through the the terrible acts and deeds of his brothers, uh, to preserve life, to preserve life, because we're the salt of the earth, and that's our mission on earth is to preserve life, preserve souls, get souls saved, and add flavor to life. Thank God, uh, where uh, people will see the goodness of God through our lives that we live, and be led to repentance. Okay, so. Enough said for right now. Chapter 5, verse 13, and we'll start over. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost his savour, that's his strength, it says, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and be trodden under the foot of men. Then he goes on to, uh, and I'll not read much more, but he says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid, but that's a different sermon. So these, these verses go together, though. So Jesus taught us that we're the salt of the earth. But if a salt has lost its strength, its savor, it's not good for anything. It's, it's not good for preservation. It's not good for flavor, except just to be cast out. In other words, thrown away and trodden under the foot of man. And if you turn over, uh, Jesus talked about salt again uh, over in Mark 9:50, and he said over there, salt is good, but if the salt has lost his savor, saltness, I mean, wherewith will ye season it? Have salt in yourselves and have peace one with another. And right ahead of that verse, <coughs> excuse me, you should read uh, chapter 9, of uh, Mark, and you should read uh, starting at verse 42 especially and read down to verse 50 there about the salt because he's uh, really warning about hell, hell fire. And so there's a lot to be learned there, but that's still not the message that we have today, but it's something I would advise you to read and learn from. Uh, and uh, we'll turn over one more time to the book of Luke. And in Luke chapter 14 and verse 34, he says, Salt is good, but if salt has lost his savour, wherewith shall it be seasoned? It is neither fit for the land nor yet for the dunghill, and that's a manure pile. Uh, but man cast it out. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. So God is saying, listen close. If you have ears to hear, listen to what I'm telling you. Uh, so, we need to understand what God is saying. And if we don't have strength, <coughs> if we don't preserve life, if we don't add flavor to life, we're good for nothing, is what he's telling us. May we pray. Our most kind and gracious Father, I pray, dear God, you anoint these lips of clay. God, that you'll preach to us your unsearchable riches about this scripture one more time for thy glory, dear God. You'll send the preacher, dear God, and Heavenly Father, we'll all learn of your ways. The lost will be saved, and your church will be strengthened and blessed. And God, that you'll be glorified most of all through it all. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. So, uh, uh, to be labeled as good for nothing is uh, uh, not a good thought at all, is it? Uh, I don't want my life to be good for nothing. Uh, I want my life to be good to preserve life. Uh, I want my life to be, uh, I thank God, as the salt that Jesus talked about. Uh, ye are the salt of the earth, uh, I thank God, and we need to be strong. Uh, the Bible commands us to be strong. Be ye strong and zealous uh, uh, th- and courageous, thank God. Uh, uh, we need to understand uh, uh, that the Bible teaches that God is our strength. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's through our weakness we're made strong. Uh, because when you really realize the weakness of humanity, uh, uh, the weakness that we have uh, uh, within our own selves, we're just small and weak uh, and frail. Uh, uh, that's when we realize uh, uh, that we need our strength from above, uh, that we need God uh, uh, to control our lives. Thank God. And when God's in control of our lives, lives uh, uh, will be uh, uh, doing strong things for him because uh, uh, Paul said I can do all things uh, through Christ which strengtheneth me uh, and God never changes and God uh, is n- uh, no different with you and me uh, and all the others as he is with one, uh, everyone uh, uh, thank God God's n- uh, no respect to person uh, uh, and all you have to do is call upon him uh, while he's near thank God uh, and he will hear and answer when you call upon him with sincere prayers uh, and he'll give you the wisdom you need the strength you need uh, the blessings you need to get through life uh, uh, through the trials of life and through whatever you're going through in life, uh, uh, you'll find that that grace uh, that he has, that amazing grace of the Lord Jesus Christ is sufficient uh, uh, thank God to get you through everything uh, and you can do all things through Christ uh, uh, thank God because we are the salt of the earth, uh, uh, thank God and we don't want to lose our strength uh, and be kind of worth uh, nothing, I don't want to ever be labeled uh, uh, good for nothing uh, I want to be labeled, thank God is the salt of the earth. Uh, I want to be labeled as one that preserves life. Uh, I want to be labeled as one that uh, preaches the truth uh, and shares the love of God uh, uh, by the life that I live. And that's for you and me. Uh, that's for all of us. If we'll just put our faith uh, and our trust at the foot of the precious cross uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ, where that precious blood ran, uh, uh, that we might have access to the Father, uh, that we might be born again. Uh, that we might know him in the pardon and remission of sin uh, that we might know him thank God uh, as our Lord and Savior uh, uh, and know uh, uh, thank God that when we preach uh, or teach or live uh, the gospel thank God We're adding flavor, uh, uh, thank God, to this old uh, uh, bland world that we're living in, uh, and we're preserving life, uh, uh, which is uh, on its way down without Jesus. Uh, uh, it's in him that we live and move and have our being, uh, and we as Christians, thank God, need, uh, uh, thank God, to salt, uh, uh, spread the salt. Uh, we need to be the salt and spread uh, the flavor and spread the preservative, uh, uh, that, thank God, God. God has made us to be, uh, that we might win souls to the kingdom, uh, that we might be a bright and a shining light, as that next verse says. Uh, and, and I'll read it. I'll go ahead and read it since it ties right in. Uh, Ye are the light of the world, it says in verse 14. A city uh, that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Uh, uh, thank God forever. Uh, uh, we are, uh, uh, thank God, the word of God uh, uh, in us uh, is a beacon to the world, a light to the world. Uh, uh, thank God. Just like that, uh, we live pretty close to an airport, and you can see that old beacon light shining up and hitting the clouds when an airplane's coming in, uh, uh, directing them in for a safe landing. Uh, and that's the way us Christians are. Uh, Thank God, and that's what we ought to be doing is turning up the lights. Uh, uh, thank God, and preserving life uh, uh, and keeping others from making shipwreck of their souls. Uh, oh, listen, uh, it's time, thank God, uh, uh, to season life. It's time to preserve life. Uh, it's time to be strong in the Lord. Uh, it's time to overcome evil with good. Uh, uh, thank God, and it's time uh, that we as Christians realize uh, that we're on the winning side. We don't have anything to be 
be discouraged about. Uh, we have everything to praise God for. Uh, uh, we should be glorifying God uh, and praising Him that He give, has given us another day of life, uh, that He saved our soul from the devil's hell. Uh, uh, thank God that He spoke about there in Mark chapter 9. Uh, uh, thank God. And let nothing in your life be a hindrance to you. Cut out all the things uh, that will hinder you. Uh, uh, Jesus even said, if your hand uh, offend you, cut it off your foot. Uh, uh, if your eye, uh, pluck it out and get rid of it. If anything offends you, what was he trying to say? Uh, anything that would drag you down to the pits of hell, get rid of it. Uh, and be the seasoning he wants you to be. And be uh, uh, the preservative he wants you to be. a lifesaver. Uh, uh, thank God, a preservative uh, uh, for the uh, Lord's sake. Uh, get as many saved as you can uh, while there's still time. You have the opportunity right now, uh, but the day is soon coming in all of our lives uh, uh, when we'll close our eyes in death, and it'll be too late to work for the Lord. Uh, uh, the day's coming uh, uh, when night will come upon us, uh, and it'll be too late. But right now, uh, uh, the harvest is ripe, and the, but the labors are few, uh, uh, so it's time to be willing workers, uh, workers for the Lord. Thank God. Uh, uh, I don't want to die uh, uh, with an unfinished task. Do you? Uh, I want to get as many saved as I can while I can. Uh, thank God ye are the salt of the earth. Uh, but don't. Don't allow yourself to be weak and, and, and lose your way. Don't allow yourself to quit serving God. Don't allow yourself to quit praying. Don't allow yourself to uh, quit uh, being a, a, a true a Christian that stands for that which is right and overcomes evil with good and cares about the things that be of God more than the things that be of man. Oh, it's a blessing to share his word one more time with you, beloved. May God's blessings be upon you. Go out there and get them saved. Get them saved. Bring in the sheaves while you can. Thank God it's time to get our loved ones saved. Get on our knees and pray, old time Holy Ghost, uh, conviction upon them. And get them saved while there's time. Oh, bless you, beloved. So glad you shared with us and are with us again today. For it's in Jesus' name we preach and pray and come before you. We love you all. Push that share button. God bless you. Bye-bye.